Hello all. If you are going to become computer science engineers or IT professional, there is no way you can skip learning algorithms. Even if you are not an IT professional, these algorithms will serve as a general purpose mental tools to solve the problem. So in this course and in this video, I am going to give the introduction of design and analysis of algorithms. If there is a problem, the solution of the problem has to be designed. That is what is design. If you are a civil engineer, constructing something is a problem. So he will have to have a blueprint of the construction what he is going to construct. So that is a design. If he is, if you are an electrical engineer, then electrical circuit is a design. If you are a mechanical engineer, then machine design is the base, right? Similarly, for computer professional, algorithm is the base. Algorithm is a design for the program. It is not a program, but it is way of getting a solution. So learning algorithm is very important and we are going to learn how to design an algorithm. That is once the solution of the problem is designed, before it is implemented, it has to be analyzed for its correctness, for its, uh, for, for its constraints, for the resources available to be implemented. So we are, we are also learning how we can analyze the algorithm. Before we are going for definition of algorithm, what is analysis, what is design, just it is the introduction part. Okay. So we are learning design as well as analysis of algorithms. Then why we are learning this subject? That, that is the fundamental question. If you want to start with any course, you should know why we are going to learn it. There are both practical as well as theoretical reasons why we need to learn this subject. The very fundamental objective of learning this subject is it improves our problem solving skills and it improves our analytical skills. That is one of the objective of learning this course. And in this course, you are going to learn set of a very large set of standard algorithms which are already available. By learning those algorithms, you will be equipped with finding the solution to the new problem. Finding the solution to the new problem by learning set of standard algorithms. So that is under under objective of learning this course. And here you are going to learn different strategies of designing the algorithm so which are proved to be best they are like uh, divide and conquer brute force transform and conquer uh, decrease and conquer dynamical uh, programming backtracking uh, greedy technique like this there are many methods which are proved to be best for designing the algorithm you are going to learn those techniques along with that in every technique you are going to learn some standard set of algorithms by that, you will be acquiring the skills of designing the new algorithm. That is under, under objective of learning this course. So, to learn this course, what are the prerequisites? What are the prerequisites? Of course, as I have told, even though you are not a computer prof professional, this, pro this course will give you uh, give you the problem solving skills but as nowadays uh, people are learning c programming which is a very basic high level programming language even in the schools it is better to have the some programming language like c knowledge to learn this course to start learning this course that is one of the prerequisites and another prerequisite is we need to have some background of discrete structures like sets matrices such kind of uh, discrete mathematics we need to know uh, not very high level uh, mathematics like calculus that is that is not required everywhere here and there there may be a little bit of requirement but it is not a mandatory requirement then you need to have uh, fundamentals of uh, data structure so, say somewhere in the algorithm we may use stack queue or uh, uh, link list like that but a little bit knowledge of data structure is also essential to learn this subject. So this is just an overview of this course. When you are learning, when you are learning, 
C programming, you might have learned flow chart and algorithm. Where you have learned algorithm is a step by step procedure to solve a problem, or it is a way of getting the solution. So, definitely, it is not a program. Before implementing the program, the design of the solution to be prepared that is, that is what is the algorithm. Okay, so these are the objectives of learning this course that is, describe the computational solutions to the well known problem. So, you are going to learn five to six. Uh, very important uh, algorithm design techniques using that you are going to learn set of already existing best algorithms by which you can use those anywhere you require and also you learning by learning that you can design the new algorithm for the new problems and also you are going to learn how you can analyze the algorithm particularly for space and uh, time which are the most important computer resources so you are going to learn estimate the computational complexity of the algorithm what you are going to design and it improves the problem solving and analytical skills and devise the algorithms using appropriate design technique which method to be used to give such kind of situation is there and that is there is a problem which method you can apply that you are going to learn and mm, program programming language data structure and discrete mathematics are the prerequisites for learning this subject. So, if I say it bluntly, computer exists, computer will not exist without the software, software will not exist without the programs, programs will not exist without the algorithms. So, we have to have the knowledge of algorithms, then only our profession of uh, developing the solution will become easier. Okay, so this is this is the just background. In the coming uh, videos, uh, of there are five modules. I am going to prepare this uh, these video lectures for video syllabus. But uh, almost all the universities are having this course in the undergraduate level of computer science or uh, IT course. And even if you are uh, you want to write the exams of gate IES like that in particularly IT or computer science then definitely this course will share a large part of the portion in that and even if you are writing any entrance exams or uh, uh, interview definitely this course will help in particularly IT or computer science okay this is just the background of this and we will start with the what is algorithm and algorithm specification in the coming videos thank you